Hey guys, here's your gaming news for today, Wednesday, August 13th. We're breaking away once again from our usual two-minute format to bring you all we can from Gamescom. As always, you can find the source links in the description below to learn more about each topic. Surgeon Simulator is getting VR support with Sony's Project Morpheus following the game's release on PlayStation 4. No release date was announced as it was only stated the VR version is in progress. Based on Telltale Games' award-winning series, The Walking Dead Pinball is coming to Zen Pinball 2. Featuring voice work from the cast of the original game, you'll relive key moments and make choices throughout each of Season 1's five episodes. It will release on PS3, PS4, and Vita August 26th in North America and August 27th in Europe. On the Mac, Steam, and Xbox 360 on August 27th, and on the Wii U, Android, iOS, and Amazon August 28th. Dave Grossman, former LucasArts employee whose credits include writing and programming both The Secret of Monkey Island and contributing work to its sequel, announced today he is leaving Telltale Games. Grossman hinted at future projects and urged followers to keep watching his Twitter feed for updates. Gamescom revealed yesterday that PS4 owners could download a demo of a new game from a new indie developer. The game demo was called PT. As it turned out, the demo was actually secretly a reveal for Silent Hills, a horror game in development. The game utilizes the Fox engine and has both Hideo Kojima and Del Toro working on the game. The demo also reveals the game will star Norman Reedus of Walking Dead fame. Today, Hideo Kojima explained that the final version of the game will be of much higher quality, as the ruse for that demo was to make it appear as a genuine indie game. Hideo Kojima is quoted as saying, We are aiming for a game that will make you shit your pants. Obsidian Entertainment has announced that it is currently developing a tablet-based card game based on the Pathfinder franchise. It's the first game that will be produced under Obsidian's newly established licensing partnership with Pezo. Obsidian's as-yet-unnamed game will be a co-op game for one to four players. Unreal Tournament 2014, the project developed by Epic Games in cooperation with the Unreal Engine 4 community, can be downloaded in early alpha phase right now. RuneMaster is coming to PS4. The RPG was originally announced for the PC, but developer Paradox Development said today on the PlayStation blog that the game will be designed with both PCs and the current generation console in mind. Both Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain and Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes are coming to Steam. Developer Kojima Productions announced the PC versions at Gamescom. A Konami article published ahead of Hideo Kojima's Gamescom interview on Twitch originally unveiled the news. Release dates have yet to be confirmed, but Ground Zeroes will release first. Overkill is developing a new Walking Dead game, and it will feature a cooperative experience similar to the developer's previous work on the Payday series. They've yet to announce the platforms the game will release on. Speaking with Eurogamer, Phil Spencer from Microsoft confirmed that Rise of the Tomb Raider is a timed exclusive on Xbox One and Xbox 360. After that time period, which has not been specified, the game may release on other platforms as well as the IP is still owned by Square Enix. BioWare unveiled their new online 4 vs 1 RPG called Shadow Realms. It'll be out sometime next year for PC only. And that's our news for today. Join us again tomorrow for games industry coverage as it unfolds. Good night, everyone.